Hello fellow traders, tis I the Rumpled One, coming to you Friday, February the 23rd, the year's 2024. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap up. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. And as always, never lose any more on one single trade than you are willing to lose. Okay, so if we take a quick look at the week, you can see we are 77, 76 pips above the weekly open, 35 off the high, 95 off the low for the week. And you can see here we are in that upper wick zone for the previous week. And you can see we also had broken out at one time. Taking a look at the opening range chart, we are within the opening range for the year. We are within the opening range for the month. We are outside the opening range for the week. Yesterday, uh, actually, let's see, we broke out of this every day this week. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Actually, Friday, we, we actually opened outside the range. So technically, we broke out of that range on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And it looks like we're putting it in an inside bar today. So it'll be interesting to see what happens and looking here notice that the high for the day was at the 27 double o actually broke it by uh seven points and then proceeded to pull back let's see let's take a quick look at the uh monthly here looks like we are uh slightly in the uh, lower wick zone in a previous month we broke out the low you can see that there we haven't broken out of the high for the month. So for the year, 47 pips below that yearly open. So we're just like seems like we're just hanging right around that area. 150 C where we have 156 off the low for the year and 111 off the high. And we are inside the inside bar from nine weeks ago. We are above that inside bar from two days ago. And we're still in that monthly inside bar of one month ago. Today's ranges across the uh, all the Forex pairs here, you can see nobody over 100. So uh, I guess today is a very muted day. Not much happening. buy zone looks like that paid off a few times uh, on the upside notice here it just didn't want to break to the downside it broke it but you had to take your pips quick or you were stopped out and then you made it up on the other side you know we talked about taking pips you can see here on these two once again, uh, we were at the uh, let's see 126, 70 area or so. Here, nothing too significant. What was this high? 76. So we broke through the psychological 75 by one and a half pips, and then pulled back. Red rats are feasting. But really, the range is barely large enough. You can see here, red rats have been feasting. And the green rats, they had a turn. But the distance is only about 15 pips between the two zones. Hmm, pivot trading plan. We had uh, Bambino flex indicator said to go short. It looks like R1 happened to hit right around yesterday's high. So near R1 short, near pivot short. Pivot was right around the open. And yesterday's low is right around, and S1's right around yesterday's low. So a lot of overlap there.
Okay, on H4, we've got a missed pivot down here, six H4 bars ago at 2642. You can see where the other missed pivots are. Notice there was a missed pivot here, and that guy, I believe that was taken out on a couple days ago. Right there for the daily. Uh, last miss pivot was last year. Weekly, been taking out miss pivots there. We still have a couple open. And for the monthly, we've got one up at 28.77 and one down at 24.83. So we're pretty much within that range. In that upper wick zone, Notice here we've got the monthly open and prices dancing right around that monthly open. Looking at the smart ranges, so for uh, this week, 130 pips, 130 pips that is, 25 percentile out of the last 12 weeks, so nothing, uh, nothing to write home about. We did break out at a high by 22, we missed the low came within 44 pips so that was a huge miss high minus the close right now 37 close minus low 93 so the rats were paid off weekly rats and weekly crossover traders high minus open 112 open minus low only 19 but still 19 pips if you got got 10 of those you should be happy And looking at simple price action chart here, um, as I mentioned before, if you're really having, if you're really struggling, um, a lot of times it's just easy to use the uh, a higher level candle color. So we like the hourly. candle color even though my uh, preference as of about a year or so ago when I did the uh, cover I like looking at the 30 minute candle color at the psychological levels or just the plain old sweet spots every 10 pips you just take the take the trade on the first line you encounter then you ride it or you stop out at the uh, line on the other side and especially if you're only using the with 10 pip spacing and you can see today's muted I'm looking at the calendar it doesn't tell me there's a holiday so I'm not sure why the uh, New York traders aren't trading unless they just want to go home early because it is about Oh, two o'clock in New York time right now. Lowest high, highest low with the uh, resistance and support of the three balls labeled here. You see we just got a lower high trigger not too long ago. And we had a highest low as we move forward this move down so this was probably up here at the time so you can see see it looks like maybe this was the highest low 2684 take the break right there I'd be paying off a few pips for sure A simple blank chart. What do you see? I see a gap that filled right there on the daily. One of the things, um, since we are doing a weekly wrap up, I like to do is you look at the high and low and you look at it for the past 
five days not including the current day and daily whoops one thing does do helps to turn the indicator on <laughs> and by just looking at the last five days highs and lows you can get an idea of a, picking a direction so you can see here here's five days ago high four days ago and you can see prices just been breaking it so we got one it's at zero one two three four so we're taking this high and low here that would be Friday's candle so on Monday it broke out of the high Tuesday it broke out of that high Wednesday and Thursday and you can see here where the where the lows were put in so here on day the low of day one. Oh, I know one other thing I should do here make it a little bit easier to see line start at the bar turn that to true so you can see here five days ago what happened and so you can see prices just just wanted to go up from this level it tried it once tried it a second time a third time a fourth time and you can see here it's putting in higher lows with the exception of uh, four days well four days ago put in a higher low three days ago put in a slightly lower low but then still closed above it near actually near that high so price was just telling you higher 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 we had this inside bar day nice break of that inside bar boom so you know something as simple as just looking at the uh, previous five days highs and lows uh, let's see 0.77 close minus open percentage Let's take a quick look here at the uh, the actual range, how we're doing. 254, so we're better. We're still haven't beaten. This, this is the low of the last 20 years, so we have to get to what, at least 346, no, 315 is the low. So we'll see if we can get there or not. Uh, about the only other thing maybe to look at is let's look at the uh, since this is the second month year to date accumulated range only 267 once again looking historically that's pretty bad. Pretty that that's some low ranges I mean we don't have anything under we have you know we got one under 500 so next week somebody needs to get a move on here right and quick look here at the daily trade reminder I don't see anything that sticks out earth shattering take a look at the weekly buyer strong control higher high higher low on the weekly monthly lower high lower low so very interesting we're right near that monthly open again so fellow traders that'll wrap it up for the week I hope everybody's profitable for the day for the week for the month for the year and I'm gonna wish you all a fun and safe weekend and I want you to always remember and never forget it's not what you trade it's how you trade it so go out there and drain the banks thanks for watching the videos this is a rumpled one over and out